It's homecoming week here at Alabama State University, and they are playing Jackson State University on this Saturday at 2.02 p.m. Today, Alabama State University's football team hosted a press conference talking about the game coming up this Saturday. Alabama State University set to go up against Miles College today here in the nest for the Labor Day Classic weekend. Here at Alabama State University, we have many international students, but there's one student in particular that is from the United Kingdom. As we understand that Queen Elizabeth has just passed away. It's homecoming week here at Alabama State University, and they are playing Jackson State University on this Saturday at 2.02 p.m. Today, Alabama State University's football team hosted a press conference talking about the game coming up this Saturday. The Alabama State Hornets are going up against the number one team in the SWAC and the defending SWAC champions, the Jackson State Tigers, led by Coach Prime himself. The Tigers are undefeated in conference play and Alabama State is 1-1 one one in conference play as a whole. Overall, they are 3-2. and two. Coach Eddie Robinson Jr. elaborates on what he and the Hornets are up against this week and what he expects out of homecoming. Back to work this week and uh, getting ready for Jackson State. Uh, they're kind of at the top of the conference, as we all know, uh, defending SWAC champions. And so uh, it's going to be a big task for us to try to contain the quarterback and all the different playmakers that they have. And so you know, guys will be up for it, homecoming, festivities, atmosphere, everything like that. So it'll be a big game. As of now, the Hornets are 1-1, one and, one, and they look to extend their record on homecoming to 2-1 and one in conference play in front of a sold-out crowd on both sides. The game has been sold out since Sunday, but will it affect the Hornets' play? These guys are always energetic and ready to play, so it's more or less just focusing on what we're doing. But, uh, I mean, you can't get excited for a sold-out crowd at home playing Jackson State, then. Ah. Alabama State University set to go up against Miles College today here in the nest for the Labor Day Classic weekend. The Hornets were clicking on offense early as Miles Crawley throws for 35 yards to connect with Darius Edmonds for his first passing touchdown of the night, putting the Hornets up 14-0 in just the first quarter alone. The team were riding off the fans' energy as they celebrate another touchdown in the end zone. The fans are loving what they're seeing so far in this year's Labor Day Classic. The defense putting pressure on Jalen Parker as he just barely got the ball off before Roderick Daniels and Kevin Stokes drop him. Eddie Robinson Jr. elaborates on what he saw out there that brought the team closer to winning this game. Guys play hard, uh, defense stepped up um, after some earlier uh, stops and not letting them get there, but then they came back and played hard and, and fought through the end. So. Here we are in the fourth quarter. Hornets trying to run the clock out but fumble inside the 20, giving Miles a slight chance to pull this game off. Now it's a game that everybody is a part of. The band playing loud enough so that Miles can't get the play calls in order to win it off. The Bears desperately trying anything to get downfield. Jacob Milhouse connects with Josh McCall for a six-yard game. Seconds left in the fourth quarter. Milhouse runs up the middle and tries to make something happen, but it's a swarm waiting on him as soon as he hit the hole. A great win at home. Uh, one thing I'm always tell the kids, uh, we're going to celebrate every win. You never apologize for winning. Uh, wins are hard to come by in college football. So, uh, of course, we know we have a lot to work on, so that's the thing we'll focus on. But the biggest thing is that we, uh, we got through this thing with the double. The Hornets defeat Miles 21-23. I'm J.C. Christian with the Alabama State Sports News. The Alabama State Hornets tennis team has come home, but not empty-handed. The men's tennis team won the HBCU tennis tournament out in Atlanta, Georgia this past weekend. The men's tennis team won it all for the men's division, beating teams such as FAMU, Alabama A&M, and Jackson State University. Although the women's tennis team came in second place, they still came close to winning it all. Coach Anouk, head coach for the tennis team, elaborates on his feelings towards the men's tennis team showing up and out this past weekend. Oh, I'm super excited because you know it was a national tournament, and also it's a um, it's a good uh, it's a good jump start to get our program started in the fall. It's also good for to honor our university, and um, I think moving forward the guys are are super excited now moving forward in the next few tournaments coming up. The Hornets are still hot as they sit at two and one overall this year in the 2022-2023 football season. But this week they have their first game of conference play at home against Prairie View University. This game is set to take place at 5 p.m. this Saturday. As the Hornets look to become victorious in their first conference game, Coach Eddie Robinson Jr. elaborates on how the bye week plays a big part of this season and how it can affect this game this Saturday against Prairie View. So, I 
I mean, really, the bye weeks have been spaced out pretty good because you play three games and you have four strike games and you finish up the season. Here at Alabama State University, we have many international students, but there's one student in particular that is from the United Kingdom. As we understand that Queen Elizabeth has just passed away. Being an international student, you can't go home as much as you may like, meaning there are many changes that may go on while you're away from home. For tennis player Christopher Johnson, a current change has taken place in the UK as Queen Elizabeth is no longer the Queen. He elaborates on how the death of the Queen may affect his play. I try not to think about it too much. When I'm, when I'm on the court, I just try and think about my game and just, um, you know, take one point at a time. I, I try not to, I kind of block out anything really when I play. At Alabama State University, many international students play tennis. As of now, Alabama State University's tennis team is gearing up to go to Atlanta to play in the HBCU Open Tournament. For now, we hope that everyone that is affected by the Queen's death can just play through it. When it comes to causes like these, you can't help but to think about how these players feel, especially going through it alone, when their families are taking it head on. We asked Christopher, how did he think his family was doing at home because of the death of the Queen, and this was his response. I'm not too sure. I mean, it's uh, it's very recent, so um, yeah, I'm not too sure about that at the moment. This fall at Alabama State University, there are many new faces in the sporting department. One important face is Justin Mordecai, Director of Strategic Communications here at Alabama State University. During his first year at ASU, his job is to basically assist the SID in keeping everything involved in sports or involving the athletes in order. He elaborates for his passion for the job, along with what he wants to bring to the sporting department and the athletes at Alabama State. But just finding creative ways to highlight these student athletes. You know, of course, you know, with their achievements, you know, inside the lines, but of course, just finding creative ways to highlight them outside the wins and losses and, you know, off the court because, you know, there's some great student athletes here and I'd love to give them the coverage that they need and, you know, show what a great job the school is doing to push them out to the world as great people as well. The Alabama State's men's basketball team has a new head coach, and his name is Tony Matlock. Coach Matlock was hired back in April by Jason Cable, athletic director at Alabama State University. Coach Matlock was the men's basketball head coach at South Carolina State for a season and has made the decision to come to the SWAC. Coach Matlock's record at South Carolina State was 15-16 and overall and 7-7 in MEAC play. He elaborates on how he and the team are adjusting to each other and how they feel about the change. Well, it's going to be tough. You know, any time that you come in as a new coach and trying to change the culture, you know, you got to start from everything from A to Z. So I think it's going to be a, a great situation for, for the fans and for the community uh, that we can try to change this culture.